What is going on guys? Shumma Gaming back. Another Lords of the Fallen boss guy. This time we're on Judge Cleric. I'm going to open this fight with casting the Aura of Tenacity to help with my defense. We're going to hit a couple range attacks and then wait for the boss to get in close. And then we're going to do our best to just kind of stay in the pocket. When we get a sec, we're going to cast Salt on our weapon, do a little bit extra damage. This boss is going to usually use these slash attacks in waves of three or four. When she glows, make sure you stay not too close because you'll get hit, but close enough that as soon as she casts it, you can go in and land a couple strikes. She basically has the same attacks now, but her sword does extra radiant damage. She's going to call in arrows down that are going to basically fill up parts of the battlefield. You need to stay away from that. They do tons of damage if you do. And then this is another one of her attacks. You can usually get a couple attacks off, but make sure you're ready to dodge the slam when it comes through. It will cast the ring around. Again, these arrows are going to come down. Just get out of the area. Wait for the judge to get close to you. Try to do your best to land a couple dodges and hit the boss when you can keeping your health up to full um this boss has a ton of health in the first phase and that's really just kind of the battle of this fight is getting this boss into the second phase with uh, at least a couple health potions left and, and hopefully your umbral still that cast you're just going to dodge into whatever way it's coming at you we're going to hit a couple range attacks again when she is far away as she will normally run in close as soon as you start to use those attacks Staying in close, we're going to uh, just keep our best on the back side of her, push her into the second phase. Again, some range attacks when she's far away, and that will normally get her to dash in close to you where you can do some damage. Uh, first phase, again, just really a long phase, and uh, just getting to the second phase with some resources left is really kind of the, the issue of this fight. Second phase, this uh, boss pretty much uses all of these same abilities, which is nice. They just do extra uh, damage, um, and there's a couple little things that she does differently. But I'm going to just do my best to kind of run away, get my health up to full, uh, use a couple mana crystals, and I cast another aura of tenacity to help with my defense. So I'm not getting one or two shot. I can take a couple, uh, more than one or two shots and still stay alive. Again, same uh, moves, so it's just a lot of these slash attacks that she's going to use in waves of three or four that you just need to keep dodging, and then normally you can either cast a health potion at the end or do a couple strikes and then get out. She is going to use the slam attack again. Again, you can usually get a strike or two off while she's casting it, dodge it when it comes down. This time it's going to come back in as well. I do get hit on the back out, and I'm going to get sent into Umbral hair. but it's going to be no biggie. We're still going to get this boss down. We're going to start getting some fireball attacks here, usually in waves of two. You need to either just roll out of the way, either to the judge or back from the judge, depending on whether your build is, if you want to be up close or away at this point in the fight. The totem is going to come out, and you really can either wait the totem out if you want, or if you're a caster, you can normally get the totem down with a, just a couple of casts. But the totem will eventually go away. I mean, it's up to you whether you not want to run in and start attacking it. Obviously, attacking it is going to leave you open to the boss to get hit. Um, but if you do get the totem, it will get rid of those flame attacks faster. When she jumps in the air, it's a good time to da uh, dash out of the way and then land three or four strikes after. Then after this, we're just going to back out. I'm going to do my best to make sure I'm staying at full health. If you still have some health potions, use some bryo stones if you have them, some mana crystals, whatever you have left. And I'm going to get this boss down with basically um, some range attacks for the rest of this fight. And then that will be pretty much it. Another totem comes out here. If this video did prove helpful, we appreciate it. A like, uh, plenty of other Lords of the Fallen videos on the channel, and plenty more to come. Uh, I do think this boss fight really was an easy fight. It's just that first phase, the boss just has so much health, and it's just really getting to this second phase with some resources. Good luck on Judge Cleric, and thanks, guys, for watching.